The Football Story 2030 presents a football legend, Ruud Goulet, born in Rudy Dill Amsterdam on September 1, 1962, is a former Dutch footballer who played as a midfielder or forward and later became a football coach. Goulet was an attacking midfielder, capable of playing as a second striker, midfielder, and even as a libero, a role he played during his time at PSV and later with Sampdoria. His strength lay in his exceptional physical prowess, making him highly skilled in advancing the ball. Goulet began playing in the Dutch Amateur League with Mere Boys in 1973 and later, in 1975, moved to DWS. He made his professional debut with Harlem in the 1979-1980 season, where he spent three seasons, accumulating 91 appearances and 32 goals. In 1982, he joined Feyenoord, playing three seasons and making 85 appearances with 31 goals in the Eredivisie, winning a national title and a Dutch Cup. In 1985, Goulet moved to PSV, where, in two seasons, he made a significant impact on the international stage with 68 matches and 46 goals in the league, winning two league titles and joining the Dutch national team. In 1986, while playing for Eindhoven, he participated in the Trofeo Gamper in Barcelona, where AC Milan also took part, catching the attention of the Italian club. In the summer of 1987, Milan acquired him for a then-record fee of 13.5 billion lire, and he quickly became the star of the team under coach Arrigo Sacchai. He officially debuted for Milan on August 23, 1987, at San Siro, in the first round of the Coppa Italia, where Milan defeated Bari 5-0. Goulet scored the fourth goal. In that season, his first in the red and black jersey, he made 29 appearances and scored nine goals, leading the team to their 11th league title after a comeback against Diego Armando Maradona's Napoli. On May 24, 1989, he scored a brace in the UEFA Champions League final, which Milan won 4-0 against Stoa Bucharest at Camp Nou in Barcelona. He played for Milan for another six seasons, marked by various successes and some injuries, such as in the 1989-1990 season when he was sidelined for almost the entire season due to a knee problem. With Sachai's team, he won two consecutive European Cups, 1988 and 1990, two Intercontinental Cups, 1989 and 1990, two UEFA Super Cups, 1989 and 1990, and an Italian Super Cup, 1988. In the new era under Fabio Capello, who took over as coach of AC Milan in 1991-1992, Goulet won the first two league titles in the red and black jersey under the management of the Freelian coach, 1991-1993, in addition to an Italian Super Cup, 1992. On July 14, 1993, he transferred to Sampdoria, receiving a gross salary of 3 billion lire. He made an impact with the Blusser Kayatai as well, scoring 15 goals in 31 matches, leading them to third place in the league, and winning the Coppa Italia. Returning to Milan for the following season, 1994-1995, he won another Italian Super Cup, this time against Sampdoria, in a penalty shootout. In 1994, after foregoing the USA 94 World Cup just a few months earlier, he announced his retirement from the Dutch national team. In 1994, in conflict with the Rossoneri, after only eight appearances and three goals that season, he decided to leave Milan permanently, moving to Sampdoria on a free transfer after seven seasons, 171 matches, and 56 goals. His last match with Milan was Juventus Milan, 1-0, on October 30, 1994. At the end of the 1994-1995 season with Sampdoria, he had made 22 appearances and scored nine goals. After his Italian experience, on May 31, 1995, he moved to England, joining Chelsea in London. In England, he shifted his position, playing as a central defender, a role he had played earlier in his career. The following year, he took on the dual role of player-manager for the Blues, leading them to win the FA Cup, becoming the youngest and the first non-British manager to achieve this feat on February 12, 1998, in addition to resigning from coaching at the age of 36. He also retired from playing football to fully dedicate himself to his coaching career. 
On the international stage, he made his debut with the Dutch national team in 1981, earning 66 caps and scoring 17 goals. He played and won the European Championship in Germany in 1988 with the Orange, also participating in the World Cup in Italy in 1990 and the European Championship in Sweden in 1992. He left the national team in August 1994. After retiring from professional football, Gullit began his coaching career. On May 10, 1996, he replaced Glenn Hoddle as Chelsea's manager, immediately winning the FA Cup. On February 12, 1998, he resigned and was replaced by Gianluca Vialli. On August 28, 1998, he accepted an offer from another English team, Newcastle United. In the first year, they reached the FA Cup final. The second year started poorly, with only one point in the first five league matches. On August 29, 1999, he decided to resign, making way for assistant Steve Clark. On March 21, 2003, he was appointed by the Dutch Football Federation as the coach of the under-19 national team, a position he held until July 2004. He then joined the coaching staff as co-coach under head coach Dick Advocat for the senior national team at the 2004 UEFA European Championship in Portugal. From July 1, 2004, he served as the coach of Feyenoord, his former club as a player, before leaving the position for Erwin Komen. On November 8, 2007, he became the coach of the Los Angeles Galaxy. On August 11, 2008, due to a series of unsatisfactory results from the Californian team, he resigned. On October 11, he returned to AC Milan as a scout for Northern Europe, especially for the Netherlands. In January 2011, he was hired by Tarek Grozny, a team in the Russian League, with the goal of qualifying for the Europa League. However, on June 14 of the same year, with the team in second-to-last place in the standings, President Ramzan Kadyrov dismissed him. On May 9, 2017, he was appointed as the assistant to head coach Dick Advocat for the Netherlands national team. On November 15 of the same year, after failing to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Advocat and Goulet resigned. Individually, Goulet is considered one of the best attacking midfielders in the history of football. He ranks 29th in the special list of the best players of the 20th century published by World Soccer and 18th in the same ranking compiled by the IFFHS. In March 2004, Pelé included him in the FIFA 100, the list of the top 125 living footballers, compiled on the occasion of FIFA's centennial. Winner of the Ballon d'Or in 1987, he was nominated seven times for the award, reaching the second position in 1988 behind fellow countryman Marco Van Basten. Thank you for choosing our channel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Your engagement is our source of energy. Thank you.